Hey guys, it going? Scotty from Scott's Bass Lessons. Hope you're well. If you haven't checked out scottsbasslessons.com yet, make sure you go over there and check it out because there is hundreds of videos just like this for you to check out totally for free. And if you subscribe as well, you get some really cool goodies. Okay, like a bass player's buying guide, my six top tones for um, bass tone and a backing track library, a ton of cool stuff. But today we're going to be doing another bass riff of the week and this is number 13, I think. Um, and today we're doing, it's like a funky James Brown type thing. Now, I've actually already done a making of video of this actual bass riff of the week because I keep on getting a ton of video, a ton of emails saying, okay, how, Scott, how do you come up with all these riffs, Scott? It was amazing how you come up with a completely unique one every week and there is a, a process to it and I'm going to be releasing a making of video but this making of video is going to come out in December okay and the really big bit of news that I want to share with you um, this week I've got a couple of big bits of news one's coming out on Friday but this is a big bit of news coming today is that in December from the 1st of December right through to the 25th of December, so just like an advent calendar, we'll be releasing one new bit, one new bit of content, so like one new video on um, every day. I can't speak today. We're going to be releasing one new video every day from the 1st right through to the 25th of December. So the 1st right through to Christmas Day, and you'll even get a video on Christmas Day as well, so right the way through. So look out. Um, in December, we're going to be doing giveaways, we're going to be doing um, competitions, we're going to be doing, I think my wife's even going to come in and sing a song with us. I even might dress up as Santa Claus, who knows, Denmark wants me to dress up as Santa Claus. Um, but I think my beard needs to be a, a bit longer and I need a bit more hair, I'm struggling on top as well. But uh, anyway, so look out for that coming. Um, there's going to be a, a sign up thing so you can sign up so you can get deliver, basically delivered to your email every day right through December. So look out for that. It's coming soon. Um, on to this week's Bass Riff of the Week. So this Bass Riff of the Week is like a kind of James Browny type of Prince, you know, certain points, kind of groove. It's around an, an F dominant seven um, arpeggio. based on that tonality and if you're not learning your chord tones yet and your arpeggios you need to be looking into this in a big way because that is how we create bass lines it's using chord tones arpeggios and then mixing scales in with that but I'm actually I've just done a over 10 hour course on it and it's getting released this Friday so watch out for that that's a big bit of news as well um, but if you're not looking into chord tones arpeggios you need to be doing that because it's a really really um, that's the that's kind of the sort of like secret behind, you know, how bass players, what we do within bands, you know, a guitar player plays chords, we outline the chords using chord tones and arpeggios, right? So the same thing, but we play the notes one at a time instead of all at the same time like guitar players do. So this riff is, you know, it's kind of funky type of vibe and it's around an F dominant seven. Now an F dominant seven, just so you know, is F, A, C, E flat, and F. That's the kind of tonality that we're going for. Okay? And as with all of these riffs, I try and... It's not just come up with a cool riff. I try and come up with something so you can learn something from the riff. I try and come up with um, guidelines for myself because that helps me um, create the riff. It's, it's one thing just sitting there and thinking, oh, I hope I come up with a cool riff, but it's a lot easier if you give yourself guidelines. And the guidelines I gave myself with this riff is I wanted to start the riff on something other than the root note. So I'd, most riffs, if you've you know uh, done a, a fair bit of transcribing, you'll find that most riffs start on the root note. For instance, if you take Lady Marmalade, you know, it starts on a G and the first chord's a G minor. Um, in our, and it like, you know, blame it on the boogie, starts on an E flat, it's in E flat. More Jacksons. You know, it's in A flat, it starts on A flat. So, 
you know, most riffs start on the root, but we don't have to. And it's a really cool thing to break away from that. So this riff, it's in F7, but it starts on a chromatic run up into the F. It actually starts on an E flat. So that's how the riff starts. And that was one of the guidelines. The next guideline that I wanted to give myself is that I wanted it to include tenths. And it does that too. It's like a, a tenth is just a root and a third. But you get the third and you put it up an octave. So it sounds more open, yeah? If you were to play root and third down here, it just sounds too muddy, but sounds beautiful when you play it as a tenth. And they're the two guidelines that I came up with. So I'm gonna play the riff full speed now without the backing track so you can just hear what it's like, okay? So let's check that out. So, a one, a two, a three, four. So that's the into full speed. Let me play it down slowly so you can see exactly what's going on. And then I'm going to break down the separate parts for you, okay? So here it is. Let's think. Um, a one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's look at the first part. The first part is a chromatic run into the F. And if you want this, the, the tavern notation, by the way, for this, you can download it. Hit the, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the link below this video. It will take you through to the page. Follow the instructions and you'll go through to the um, subscriber only toolkit area on Scott's Bass and where you'll be able to download the tab notation and backing track for this, totally free. If you're watching it on Scott's Bass Lessons, just click the link below the video. And if you're an Academy member on Scott's Bass Lessons, don't worry, all the links are directly below, below this video. And you can download the video directly on your computer and the audio files and everything. So if you're an Academy member, remember it's all just underneath this video, okay? And if you haven't checked out the SBL Academy yet, make sure you do so. So we're just doing a quick chromatic run into the F. Okay. And the, the thing I want to point out in, on this is it's not. It's. I'm doing a little. A little pull off. So I'm hitting the E flat. I'm pulling off and then playing the E and the F. gives you the line a bit more bounce. And then this part here, so it's, this part here is, I'm just playing the flat seven and the third from the F7. Remember how I said all bass lines are created from chord tones? Okay, so I'm playing the, the flat seven and the third from the F7 arpeggio, but I'm sliding into it. So I'm playing, so I'm playing a D and an A flat, which are unrelated to the chord, but playing them, and they're sliding into it. So it's just a bit of chromatic movement. And again, tense. And the tense here, so let me just play up to that point, sorry. Two, three, four. Here we go. I just C down to B flat, okay? And on a, on a theoretical and technical standpoint, this works because we're going from, we're implying a chord five over the F, going down to a chord four over the F. That's for anybody that wants to know what's actually going on theoretically, okay? So C down to the B flat. But who cares, it sounds good, right? So. That's that first part of the riff there. And then we go back to the top and play that again. So let's just do that. Two, a three, a four. So there's three parts there. First part, 
Second part. Third part, so the first term is a first. And then the fourth part is, so we're just, we're not doing a chromatic run here to F, it's just, I'm still doing the, I'm still doing the pull off on that E flat to give me the skip and hitting the F, so there's two notes there. Well, three including the little skip. So it's, and then it, this, the tense here have a, the timing's a little bit different. different. So two, three, four. So E to F, and then the C down to the B flat chromatically, and then A flat to G flat, the same movement. Two, three, four. Again, two, three, let's loop it. Okay, so, and then it just starts again. So that's the end bit of the riff. So I'm gonna play it once, slow, speed it up again, and then I'll play it up to, up to tempo, okay? So a one, two, actually slower. One, two, three, four. Now I've put in a few dead notes in around that riff uh, that I might not do if I was actually playing it with a band. I'm putting in them dead notes just to create a little bit more rhythm so you can hear where the one is and you know, all this kind of thing, just so you can actually hear the rhythm um, as it's going along because the riff is it's kind of syncopated, okay? But you know, you can mess around with putting ghost notes in as well if you want to, but I wouldn't get too hung up on them. Just try and get the riff down to start with and then you know, take it from there. As I said earlier, you can get the tab notation and backing track for this. If you hit the link underneath the video, if you're watching it on YouTube, follow the instructions on the page and it'll, you'll go straight through to the toolkit area on Scott's Bass Lessons where you can download them. If you're an SBL Academy member, remember under this video, you're watching it on Scott's Bass Lessons, you can download the video file, you can download the audio only file, you can download the backing track and the playing track and all the other gubbins. Um, and if you haven't checked out SBL Academy yet, make sure you do so. There is some face-meltingly cool stuff coming um, in January that I haven't announced yet. It's kind of going on right now, but I'm going to wait until January to tell everybody. All the Academy members know what I'm talking about. Um, and other than that, take it easy. I'll see you in the shed and get ready for December. Remember, from the 1st until the 25th, we'll be releasing a video every day. Take it easy. I'll see you in the shed.